What's up guys? I think I made this video three, four times already, but I'm trying to get the best information for you um, as short as I can. In here, I'm going to start uh, installing the, it's called Speedy EFI, which is a Speedwino ECU on my Eclipse 2G. Um, this is a 420A, as you can see. I don't know if you've seen my build. I built this engine from scratch. So, everything here is bulletproofed. Everything here is forged. This thing should be a rocket ship. So, I had experience installing Speedwino on my BMW with the 2JZ. If you didn't see that, also there is a playlist about 2JZ, BMW to 2JZ conversion. Uh, so I decide to do the same thing in here, just to my surprise, there is nothing online. When I research uh, 428 Speedwino, uh, my, my videos come up, I don't know how, but <clears throat> there's nothing. So I believe that this is going to be the first uh, Eclipse, I, I'm not sure Eclipse 2G with the Speedwino ECU. There's a bunch out there with the Mega Squirt, which is similar, but it's not the same thing. So. I'm going to get started on this video telling you what were my findings and what I'm going to do. So this is what I, I've been doing. Uh, there is the pinout for the Speedwino fish dog, um, which like I'm just going to give you a simple example. Um, intake, air, air, intake air temp is pin number two. And then on the ECU, I have another pinout for the ECU on my car, which is number 37. So when I go to 37, I know that 37 is intake air, uh, intake air temp sensor. So I go to the ECU, as you see here, this is going to be the next videos, but I come here to the ECU, look at the numbers, know where the number is, cut the, the, the wire, and then plug the wire on my uh, harness wire that comes from the Speedwino. So everything goes well apart from three things. One, uh, <clears throat> some of the sensors need a 5 volt, not 12. So Speedwino has a 5 volt reference which you can use. So when you get into the ECU, you cut that reference, I mean you cut from the connector just plug from the ECU and the 5 volt is supplied. Um, the other thing is we need a, that's the hardest one, we need an 8 volt uh, supply. So I'm buying a little part, I'm going to show you here. I actually bought a box on Amazon uh, which has like a bunch of them. It's a, a voltage converter, it's a DC to DC uh, and converts 12 to 9 volts which is 7809 is the part. Uh, if you get 7805, it converts from 12 to five and so on. So I got a box with a bunch of them. I never know when I need it again. It costs just $12. So, and then buying it again, I'm gonna show you here again. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna get a 12 volt supply from somewhere. And that 12 volt, I'm gonna plug that little thing. And on the last leg, I'm gonna send to um, to to the whatever harness is trying to power. In this case here, trying to power the VSS sensor, crank position sensor, and cam position sensor. I don't know if there is anything else being powered by um, that, but apparently not. So that's the other thing, and the last thing which is the most confusing and that's what I couldn't find online is how to wire the injectors and how to wire uh, not how is not even a word it's like what to do to wire uh, the injectors and the coils because uh, the coils as you see here we have one two three and four which was being connected on one two three and four and this is going to change so that's going to change and the way we wire the injectors also <clears throat> are going to change. Everything is everything apart from the coils because this is specific for 428 is on the Speedwino manual. Let's jump into the screen and I'm going to show you what I mean. This is a, a few things that I learned um, 
and I'm studying before going ahead and installing everything. I have the option to get it paired, uh, which is going to inject on cylinder one and four. And as you see here, uh, the injectors paired together must have their top dead center 360 degrees apart, which means in our cases one and four are 360 degrees apart. Problem is uh, the coil I don't know, probably you won't be able to see in here, but I'm going to show you in the camera later. The coils fire 1 and 3, 2 and 4. So we also need to switch the wiring on the coil. Once we do that, we're going to spark uh, 1 and 4, which is paired together, and 2 and 3. So we cannot use this in here. Um, the second option is use a full sequential for the injectors here using the full sequential you need to have it requires a compatible cam signal uh, which we have so I'm gonna go for it um, sequential the only thing is whatever and I got that on my paper just to realize that this was here on the manual uh, cylinder one which the injector one coming from the ECU connects on this do the actual injector one uh, an ECU, I mean, now the speed window. Uh, injector 2 from the speed window connects to uh, cylinder 3. Injector 3, uh, injector port 3 from the speed window connects to injector 4, and 4 connects to 2. So, exactly what it is in here, where my mouse is moving right there. Um, we're going to do that. And the now the um, the coils so the coils we're going to connect one on one so one from the coil on the cylinder one two from the coil on cylinder three which um, I need the sequence one three four two right so number three on the coil connect on the actual cylinder four and the four on the coil connect on cylinder two so this should work the only thing in here that we would need to do is on the speed wind. we are going to go over this this is just a breakdown of what I've been learning what I'm what I'm, I need to do um, in here we have this trigger pattern pattern DSM 428 so just be aware this got to be the um, uh, not the hardware it got to be the software 202008 otherwise we won't have that option you might have uh, neon something uh, here for G63, but you won't have the 428. So, 428 is there. Uh, this is falling. I'm gonna take the um, signal conditioner out of the ECU. We're gonna do that on the next videos. And that was engine. We're gonna define everything here is gonna be normal. Here, you gotta put your configuration. So, just if you know, displacement 1996 number of cylinders 4, my injector size, and this is 14.7 <clears throat> you should get a number here between 3 and 6 or 7 or something like that depending on the size of your uh, injectors uh, here injectors layout so my 2JZ had paired as we discussed because I don't use uh, individual coils it's paired future I'm gonna change to individual coils I'm going to go for sequential spark settings we have the waste spark so waste spark is going to split uh, the number of cylinders by and half so four cylinders is going to be IGN 1 and IGN 2 that's all I have because it's going to be uh, in the coil 1 and 3 2 and 4 but on the cylinder is going to is going to do different as we already talked so yeah this is the preparation we need uh, but this is how I got into this uh, conclusion and actually I came to this conclusion here just to realize that this is on the manual just those are the injectors and those are the coils so I just like my logic was okay so uh, it's gonna trigger injector port 1 injector port 2 1 and 2 1 and 2 right and 1 fires on 1 and 3 and 2 on 2 and 4 so if you go back to the engine 1 and 3 is the opposite and 2 and 4 
here, sorry, one and three and two and four, right? So I guess it doesn't matter where it fires uh, because I can connect things in a different port. So this is what I'm going to do. Like you just saw on the screen, I thought, well, if the, uh, the first coil fires, I need to fire cylinder one. Then it's going to go to the second. Number two, I want to fire cylinder three. Then it go to the third, I want to fire cylinder four, and so on. And four, fire cylinder two. And then it gives me the order one, three, four, two. So this is all exciting. I mean, it's more exciting for uh, being the first one doing this. Uh, probably there is someone out there, but it's not documented. It's not, uh, there's no video, no nothing. It's definitely exciting. It's definitely a lot of learning that in, in on that case, for example, someone learned those things and I, I was able to research and, you know, get a lot of knowledge from those people. I want to give a shout out to um, DC Works, is D-C-W-E-R-X. Again, I mean, that dude is super cool. Um, I already talked about him on the other video, but, you know, he does a lot of stuff. So I just asked him about removing the ECU because I wasn't sure if I could just take the ECU out of there. And what would happen to my speedometer, fuel gauge, temperature, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, he, he shared with me uh, what, what his thoughts were and his experience. And I really appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Um, and you guys should go to his website. He does a lot of Speedwino, only actually Speedwino um, cars and stuff. He has an Alteza, a Honda, and... I think he does clients cars too, he can do for you online. Uh, I have no ties to him, I'm just saying because I like his channel and I think it's it's very valuable. So he's not doing an eclipse, I am. He has way more knowledge than me. So probably I'll, I'll go and ask him more questions when I'm tuning and you know I run into some stuff or I know he makes comments on my videos. So check him out. And uh, yeah, Whew, exciting. So I'm waiting on the parts. Today's Sunday. Now it's like probably 2 a.m. I gotta wake up and work tomorrow. Um, and the parts gonna be here Tuesday. So I have tomorrow and a day after tomorrow, so I can have the eight, um, the eight volts. But for now, we're gonna finish this video. For tomorrow, we're gonna have another video of me starting. Uh, all of this stuff here, which I actually started the video already not thinking about um, All this information that I just shared with you guys. So if you're doing this just watch this video first and Of course if you're watching what I'm saying right now you watch the whole video and I really appreciate it uh, But watch the next videos now you're gonna see how to wire what I'm wiring and and all that stuff As we wire we're gonna test into this video you know, as we were doing this which was pretty cool with all that said, and this 30 degrees here right now, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. There is uh, more to come, as I already said. Share, comment, make a little comment here if you have anything to say. I like those comments. Uh, don't make stupid comments because then you're going to just make fool of yourself. I'm not going to answer. Uh, and I'll see you on the next videos.